denizens of the interwebs. This is Double V, and this is a uh, just a little rant, a little expelling of thoughts, a meditation, a vlog, a double vlog, if you will, I suppose, about I don't know a lot of things. First of all, what's going on with the channel? Yet, you know, it's been a few days since I posted a video. Well, actually, I tried to put up another episode of uh, The Adventures of Vinx and Vayna yesterday, but it wasn't letting me upload and sign in or something. It was weird. Technical difficulties. I'll probably try it again uh, tomorrow or today. I don't know. Probably tomorrow. Anyway, I feel the need to speak about the direction that the channel will be going. Now, up until this point, I've done a lot of burst impressions kind of in a row. And I feel like I've exhausted any excitement in my mind about trying new video games. So, I, I feel like maybe until there's another big release, I'm not going to do a burst impressions. What I want to do is go to a video game that I'm excited about. And we'll focus on that for a while. It'll give me a chance to do a lot more streaming. I'll be able to th do one of the things that I really, really love to do, and that's theory craft. And you gotta get into a game for a little while before you can really dive in like that. I wanna make spreadsheets, I wanna get all the best min maxing and all the try hard business, you know, up on video for everybody to see who doesn't do that stuff themselves. And with the way I've been doing things, it's impossible. I, I try all kinds of new games every day. If a game looks uh, interesting, I'll make like a gameplay-ish video of it. Or I'll, I'll find something that's got like a, a beta key giveaway. And I'll do a burst impressions of it. And you know what a burst impression really is. And it's kind of different from what I originally imagined it to be originally it was going to be an insanely fast silly first impressions with a lot sharper and more wider more wider cuts uh, but I decided that that method didn't give any insight about the game whatsoever so instead I just cut out all the space I, I recorded live live commentary and then I cut out all the space everything that I say is still on there but literally any kind of pause in there is just cut out so that it moves along real fast so you know my original term burst impressions was really really accurate I mean it was gonna be speedy and now I feel like they're only half bursty but it's okay I'll keep the name cuz it's catchy Anyway, you probably won't be seeing a lot more of those. The other thing you probably won't be seeing a lot more of is the adventures of Vinx and Vayna. Now, well, I shouldn't say that. You will be seeing more of that, but it's going to be an, a little different format. I feel like the choppy little thing that I've been doing is kind of lame. And it might just be better to go ahead and show the real footage the long ass hour and a half two hour plus little session that we recorded that I chop up just show it people might like that I don't know I'd like your input on such things what do you think do you think it should be chopped up do you think it should be? now if you look at the original one the the original Terra online one I chopped that one the fuck out that one's got no sense to it whatsoever. It it makes no sense at all. It's just complete like chopping insanity to make up funny little things. And it is humorous. But at the same time, other than a quick laugh, it's useless. A lot of people probably just replay it because it's the first time that they've heard my voice. But I feel like a part of me feels like I'd rather have it be more like a gaming experience 
a chronicle of two companions gloriously adventuring through a game. Because, really, I mean, the uncut version of it, we have fun. We're not um, at some crazy team speak frat party like some of the people who do that shit. But, you know, we have fun. And it's a lighthearted experience. And I feel like it kind of gets washed out when I chop it all up like that. But that's my feel after doing several of the videos. Maybe I'm just getting, you know, numb to it. I'd really like you to tell me what you think about them. Whether or not I should continue doing them in that format. Or uh, maybe if you'd want to see something else. I mean, I'd, I don't really uh, want to bend to anybody's will. But I'm definitely open for suggestions. I will take them into consideration every time. And decide whether or not it's going to be epic. And I will. I will every time. Take every consideration. If I see it, I will consider it with an open mind. I won't be like, oh, no, no, that won't work. I will actually take a look at it and say, why would that work? And I'll try to come up with a reason of why it would work. And then decide if I like that better than the reason why my current one would work. So, yeah, suggest things. Anyway, back to um, the point of the video. What do I want, personally, to put on the channel? What's going to be good for my gaming mental health, so to speak? Well, I'll tell you what pisses me off. What pisses me off is trying everybody's shitty games and feeling like I need to report on this. But... It's weird because when I'm playing it, I find positive things about it. And I'll usually talk about that. But really afterwards, a lot of times I'm like, I'm never going to play that. That's a piece of shit. So, yeah. I think we'll all be more successful if I really focus on things that um, not only is a game that I enjoy, but it's a game that people are interested in you know I'm not gonna go play uh, something real old and obscure that people don't even remember most gamers are too young for example to even bother with the first Legend of Zelda you know I'm not gonna do shit like that some streamers do that and somehow they got a lot of people watching them but I feel like um, those people were watching them before for a different reason and they're just fans so they come check it out i don't know maybe maybe there's a lot of nostalgia addicts out there but fear not this will not be a nostalgia channel every once in a while i might throw in an old game give a shout out to it real quick in one little video or something but it's always going to be for a joke let's Let's put it that way. It's always going to be for a joke if I show an old game. And I will joke the fucking shit out of it. Um, but I'm not going to sit there and seriously stream an old game and seriously make all kinds of videos about an old game. This is about new games. This is somewhat of a news channel, although it's insanely ridiculous style of news where I just show the game and crack a bunch of shit over it. But in essence, it's here for people to learn something about a game. And hopefully be entertained at the same time. So with that philosophy, I'm thinking... Let's take one of these games that I like. Let's get really fucking good at it. And spend a shitload of time playing it. And I'll stream it while I'm playing. And then when I get a good idea for a video, I'm gonna stop streaming or record some good shit. And I'll put it up. Period. And, you know, if people request things, as usual, I will consider them and possibly take small diversions in different directions, etc. You know, here's an example. I mean, that uh, Firefall crafting little quick tutorial that I made, somebody just requested that. And I said, hell yeah. That's sure. 
Actually, what I was thinking is, I need to learn it myself. So let me let me take this seriously for a moment and go figure it out. And I did. I figured it out and then I posted it up. And people were happy. And it's actually the video that people watch the longest out of all my videos. And I feel like, okay, that's because it's slightly useful. I mean, it's actually, if you're new, it's probably very useful. It's nice to just sit in relative silence and speak about gaming. I want to sit in relative silence and speak about gaming. So, goddammit, another thing that you'll see on this channel is more long drawn out rants. However, this one's rather disorganized. I'm just kind of shooting the shit with myself, if you will. But I want to do rants where I actually talk about something that's got a goal. I think, you know, like, I think the next one's going to be um, this whole debate about is free to play good or should we go with pay to play? Is free to play going to ruin the industry? Yeah. I'm going to do my homework on that and then we're, we're going to make a kick ass radio style rant about it. We're going to do that. I don't know when, but it's it's coming. You heard it here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, to sum it up, what I want to do on the channel is try less obscure new games, only do burst impressions on relevant new games or games that I think are fucking retardedly amazing looking. We'll do that. Um, and otherwise focus on games that I already know are retardedly amazing. And come up with good shit for them, like, you know, strategies, theory crafting, tips and tricks, maybe some funny shit here and there, you know, I do game with a funny gaming clan who will right now be left unnamed until I gather their permission to use their likenesses in footage, but I, I have a feeling we're going to be seeing stuff with them in it on the stream and on videos soon. So, yeah, some things to look forward to. And, you know, if you're not looking forward to these things that I mentioned, please let me know what you would like to continue seeing or what you would rather see or what you think is a positive thing about my channel. You know, I'm doing this kind of haphazardly. I don't have a huge, uh, crazy, ridiculous plan. Sure, you know, I would like to gather popularity, a legion of bros who like gaming, and maybe uh, even make a little money doing this. But right now, I don't need to do that. I have a full-time job, and this is just amusing for me. So, feel free to uh, give out your suggestions, and as I promised, I will take them all into serious consideration. And if all things go well, maybe someday I'll get really insanely good at all this and be able to quit my job and do this or do whatever the hell I'm doing at that point. But, uh, you know, I love being uh, double V and uh, I like having viewers and I like making gaming videos. So we're going to keep doing that in whatever way is going to be best for the bro community. The bro community. Ooh, I think I've got something there. Alright, bro community denizens of the interwebs. This has been a retarded and ridiculous rambling of a madman who is also an insomniac, and quite clearly at the end of what sad and pathetic excuse for wits that he had, maybe at one point, but is now lost and who would very much like to continue pressing his insanity upon the world. Double V out.